What about wide receivers? Deontay Johnson, who has been real good since that one game uh, against the Bears since Andy Dalton took over. When you look at the numbers, 19 plus points in three of his last four games, and he's seen 43 targets in that time. You got to start on this week against the Commanders. They've allowed the fifth most fantasy points to wide receivers and the sixth most points to the perimeter. Also, Zay Flowers, I think this is the third straight week I've said to start him. And the last two weeks, Maybe. he's been nails. And yeah. now he's got the Buccaneers on Monday night. And you look at the numbers, they've allowed six touchdowns and the seventh most fantasy points per game to wide receivers. And this should be a high scoring game. Start Zay Flowers. Wide receiver sit. Let's start off with Brandon Ayuk. Yeah, he got paid a lot of money this summer. He hadn't done anything. He's been held to single digit points in all but one game. He's near the bottom of the league among receivers in catch rate. And the Chiefs are coming off a bye. And they've given up the fourth fewest fantasy points to perimeter receivers. Now, Debo Samuel is a little bit banged up. So if Debo doesn't go, that changes things a little bit. But still, the matchup is not great for Brandon Ayuk. And then George Pickens. I, I don't know what's going on there. Certainly seems like there's some sour grapes going on. He has not been good lately. He has scored fewer than 11 points in four of his last five games. He's averaged. 8.3 points per game. He didn't have a good game last week against the Raiders, by the way. I told you to sit him. And now he's going to get sauced by Gardner in the Jets. So keep him on the sideline. 